Hey everybody, welcome to the four month check-in. It has been four months since I started bulking for the 2018 INVF Winnipeg Naturals bodybuilding show. A lot has changed in those four months. Most obviously, I have a new countertop in my apartment. Management decided I needed a new one, so they gave me this one. I can't say I'm super thrilled about it because the old one was a solid color and this one is a marbly color which hides dirt um, and I can't tell if it's clean or not unless I wipe it which is fine because I wipe it a lot but I just like the solid color better. Also this past week um, the scale has been in the low 180s which means I've put on 10 pounds of mass since I started bulking. When I started I was normally 171, 173, anywhere in there at that point. And now I'm fairly consistently coming on the scale at 181, 182. So probably 9 or 10 pounds put on in, in the four months and I'm pretty happy about that. Four months in, it's a little bit more than halfway through uh, my bulk. So I have probably keep forgetting what it actually is, but around three months still where I'll be trying to bulk. November, December, January. I'm not sure what I'll do in February, if I'll be bulking or if transition into cutting at that point. Can I get away with a couple more weeks of trying to put on mass or should I probably start trying to drop body fat at that point? But halfway through, I'm going to do a program change up and it's not a big change, just making some tweaks. So hopefully you understood the programming in the video that I did last video, last month on programming. I'll make another one talking about how it's changing. What I'm doing is adding one other day uh, and then changing a little bit of how I do my um, middle weight or middle rep day and how I'm doing my higher volume high rep day. But that's a subject for another video. So here we go with the side by sides. Okay, that was the four month progress update. Stay tuned in the coming weeks for a video where I'll talk about changes to the programming, what I'm doing differently in the second half of my bulk compared to the first half of the bulk. And I'll do a short video on body composition where I can compare my current body composition from my test that I did last week with my body composition from March, which is when I was coming down off my uh, winter bulk or fall bulk that I did last year. Thanks for watching.